Hello YouTube, welcome to yet another new video, so back with another review today of a diecast I've been wanting to review for a very long time. And introducing you all to Damage the King from the 2009 Race of Rana series and he has been recently released this year in 2022. So in this case H however, this is the only Rana's nine race. This is a China release, which only released in 2009 Thailand. It's only been released in 2009. Two. Um, the Thailand variant is significantly different to this one, so I'll, when I get it, which hopefully will be soon, but we'll see how we go. I'll do a review on that as well. And you can see the in-depth comparison of the two. You know, I'll probably do a review of that one then, country comparisons, because how different they are. We'll see how I go, but that will likely be what happens. So the spoiler is all bent and twisted. A bit of dirt detailing on it. You see his expression looks quite unhappy. Actually, it looks, it looks smiling actually, if I'm going to say. And he's looking up towards the top right corner, or his top left corner. Um, all dirt detailing. Brownish dirt detailing over him, which actually looks quite nice so it looks fairly realistic and see bumps like the wheels are arched and the wheels are uh, arched i guess would be the best way to build it and side is side door here is caved in see little bumps and lumps on the sides here obviously when you're flying and hitting the infield and whatnot there would have been no way to stop just because of the speed and rate at which he was hitting the field i'm not sure how else to go about this so i'm going to compare him to the regular king and to the mini races damaged king regular king and it sort of gives you an idea of what it looked like before and after his crash Normally by the end of the movie and retain his non-damaged look for, look for the two seconds of screen time he had in Cars 3. Mini Race Damage the King was released in a Cray Pack with Mike McQueen and Chick Hicks in December last year. He was part of the 2022, first 2022 case of free packs. You know, I'm not really a fan of this one. Like the dirt detailing feels a bit too overdone. Like it's just it's sort of faded and smudged on this king, but it's just bright and too bright and vibrant for me on this. And there's no proper detailing. Like the spoiler isn't damaged, or the car itself isn't bumped. It doesn't have any bumps or lumps, it's nice and smooth like the regular Mini Racers King. Understand? Oh, it's just a line for kids, just a line for kids, but to be fair, a lot of other Mini Racers have excellent quality, whereas this one, in my opinion, does not. Um, but in the case in which this was released, all the other three packs were also just repaints of previous releases. I think it was just Mattel was trying to out new releases for the sake of it which i guess they weren't the worst new releases ever but i would have rather than swap this out for a different repaint take and come to a proper race damaged king mini this, this just feels more like a dirty king really cool to see some to a customer one day but back to race damaged king himself damaged king as it's called 2009, but damage the king in 2022. Not much of a change, but. So that is it for the video. Let me know what you guys think of him and who you all know what to do. So, that's it. Please like, subscribe, comment, favourite, share, and so on and so forth. And I'll see you all in the very next video.